Hi, this is the uh, part two of editing, basic editing inside of Premiere Elements, and we're editing the Film Riot footage that we were messing around with before. And I've taken this prepared bit and I have cut it up so I have sort of a call and answer for both of the two sets of shots, all interspersed exactly as they should go to tell the story. The only thing is, this is a rough cut. There's a lot of fine tuning we want to do to, to improve the flow, and so I'm going to do that now with just a couple of little tricks. Um, first trick I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in on this and do a simple trim just to make things flow better. Again, you may be able to see what's going on up here. You may not be able to hear the audio. We'll try to make, I'll try to describe what's going on as it goes, just in case. So as I play this, I have a well then, and I have a response there where he says, yeah. And you can see in the dialogue part, the audio track down here, his response is right about at that moment. So I'm going to do a simple trim to make this dialogue flow a little faster get rid of the dead space. And when I do and trim this back, watch what happens to all the clips behind. Everything shuffles over to the left, and that's a good thing, because this will keep our project um, up to date as we edit it, and we don't have to shuffle everything over individually. Not just yet, anyway. So that's one of the, the simplest things that you can do. Going the other way around, if you wanted to extend a scene, if I dragged it this way, you could extend it. It would not shift anything in time. And if I wanted to move everything back, I'd actually have to go and highlight everything. And you can do that. You can click and drag, find all the clips, and then move them back. And you'll notice that things do kind of snap into place when you get them where you want them. But certainly it's a little more difficult going that direction. For now, though, I've tightened up the dialogue a little bit. I'm going to hit the play and get and listen to it. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to do here was to try an L cut. An L cut is where you have some video that is cut off and goes to the next set of video before the audio goes away. That is, we have Josh's cam up here. I would like to cut to Tim's reaction to Josh's dialogue, so I would like to trim back the video portion only and not the audio. And I also want to extend this so it's going to last a little longer. So it starts like this. Here's where the L cut's going to come in. I'm going to drag this back and get a little bit more of Tim talking here. Now, when I do this, you'll notice it does not change the location of his reaction or anything. Everything is still timed the way it was before. It's just that it overlaps. And I do have double the audio here, which is probably a bit of a bad thing. We don't want it to suddenly get noisy with background noise and stuff. Oops, I've got to be careful about this. Uh, yeah, once again, if you trim it like this, everything shifts. We don't want that. So, to get the L cut, I'm going to have to work with the video independent of the audio. And to do that, I'm going to right mouse click the clip and I'm going to unlink the audio and video. Now they're still synced up, but now I can select the video separate from the audio and I could shift them separately too. I'm going to do the same thing with this clip here. I'm going to unlink the audio from the video. And now if I wanted this audio to continue, that means that I'm probably going to want this audio here not to play until it gets to the end of this clip here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide back just the audio. Now you'll notice we have that problem again. Everything's shifting. Control Z is your friend, so undo. The trick to this is if you want to shift or trim something without it affecting time, hold down the Alt key. Excuse me. Hold down the Control key as you shift it and watch. Holding down the Control key, nothing gets shifted that, that uh, happens behind it. I'm going to do the same thing up here with the video. I might as well trim this back so it reveals... Tim reacting to Josh's audio. And when you try this, when you try this on the real clip, you'll see why this flows so well. So we get to see his reaction to what Josh is saying a little earlier than his reaction uh, audibly. That's the L cut. And to see why it's called an L cut, uh, I'll show you another little trick. If you hold down the shift key and select multiple clips, you can glue them back together again with a group. I'll do that for both of these. You don't have to do this, but it keeps them in sync. And now if I were to take these things, if I've done it carefully and I take this and place it back up there, holding the control key down, it'll drop it into place and you'll notice that this makes an L and that's why this thing's called an L cut. There's something similar where the audio could precede the video, doing just the opposite, having the audio start first and then lead into the video, and that's called a J cut. Now there's no need for you to actually put this all into the same track. It's fine if it just stays in two separate tracks but it is a good idea that you make these puzzle pieces so that they match and that way you don't have conflicting audio and video. 
So there's your introduction to L cuts and J cuts. Lots of good tricks. By the way, once you've grouped these things together, if you have to, you can ungroup them again. Or there's something else that's kind of interesting about it. You could actually hold down the Alt key and still manipulate these things, although they're grouped and they still, well, actually, yeah, they still move in parallel. Um, you can individually move these things from one track to another if need be. Fancy. Okay, good luck. See what you can do.